So guys, and today we got a very special battle lined up using uh, the version update six. I don't think we're really using anything that comes in update six because um, it wasn't an amazing update. So this is a Warhammer-based battle where um, the beastmen in blue are, um, well, the Empire in red is trying to um, clear a bit of Drakvold forest of the beastmen, which are blue. So let's have a look at what, what represents what. So um, here we have some, I guess, like witch hunters or chaos hunters or something. Um, with lance and shield, the lance has to be a pike because game. Um, we got some empire hand gunners. I was going to put great swords in, but we don't have two-handed swords. So, um, and then we have some empire pistoliers on the flank. Now, for the beastmen, we have um, all the people without armor are ungors, the um, worst beastmen warriors. So we have some ungor archers over here and in the middle, giving the beastmen missile support. Um, and then we have um, ungor macemen because I can get axe and shield, which is what I really wanted, or spear and shield. Then, um, oh god. These people with the axes, um, not fully armoured with battle axes, um, but just normal axes are ghouls, which are kind of your average beastmen. Um, they're going to do alright. As you can see, the young girl macemen are meant to soak up the front casualties. And then um, we've got these ones in full plate. These are the best of ghouls, um, the best mainline infantry of the beastmen. Um, and generally, leaders of war herds come from the best of wars ranks, as far as I'm aware. I don't know much about beastmen. And then at the back, we have three blood letters of corn. Obviously, they'd have big um, swords that they hold in one hand, but I had to give them the shield because they need to be, you know, full plate. Um, the, say, the main line infantry of the demons of corn. So, let's watch this battle unfold as um, a contingent of witch hunters lead the charge into beastmen territory and get themselves murdered from behind. Well, this went the witch hunters way, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think we need some state troops or maybe some Bretonian knights. Maybe even some Tilly and Dogs of War could turn this around. Oh, look at that! Um, someone just got shot in the back of the head. So, what happened to this ranged kerfuffle? The Uncle Archers were slain by two Empire Pistoliers. And there is one handgunner remaining about to be cut down by the Gores. So, um, after the battle, we'll have a look at who survived. Um, pretty much once this handgunner got dies. Um, we'll have a look. Oh, he just got shot by the Ungor archers. Ah, oh, yes. One of the blood letters of... Oh! Two blood letters slain. Well, repulsed back to the realm of chaos anyway. Only six beastmen left. Um, we've got... We've got six. I see three Ungor archers and a um, uh, oh, there's three gores inside of each other. About to flank this one remaining pistolier who's using the tree as cover and his dead friend as cover as well. But he's being shot in the side and being so oh my god, two gores left. Oh, yes. Okay, so it's time for a bit of a bigger battle. So, um, the beastmen have kind of realised that they're being pushed out of their territory and have pushed back and um, have gathered this huge army to try and take back the Dragvold for good. Um, so, the Empire State Troops, let me just have a look at what weapons they use. I'm literally looking this up on Google. I want this to be accurate. I 
I never have anything to do with Empire or um, Beastmen or anything like that. Empire State Troops can have halberds. They have halberds, seemingly. Um, what's that sword? What's that? Okay, they can have um, great weapons of any kind, pretty much. So, um, we're going to go for the halberds, I think. We're going to give them pikes. Now, because it's Warhammer, they can't use shields because pikes are technically two-handed. Which is, you know, logical. If you're using a two... Are you Axe and Shield? God. Um, the search feature is broken in this update. Which is really not helpful when you're looking for something specific. Are you... Yeah, you're Pike and Shield. So, we've got some Empire State Troops. Going now. Um, I guess we can have some more witch hunters, kind of beating the bounds, as you could say. Um, so obviously they'd have lances normally, um, but. Oh, they can have spears, but pikes are more like lances than spears, really. So, um, this is this will be a guaranteed Empire victory right now. So, um, what we need to get are some Bretonian Knights um, to lead a dramatic rear charge. Um, they're going to be... Knights of the Realm are lightly armoured, so I don't know, Grail Knights, are they heavily armoured? I think they are. I think we need Armoured Rider as well, because um, even Knights of the Realm are armoured themselves. But their horses are really soft. And squishy. So, um, what's going to help out the Beastmen in their time of need? Chaos. Chaos will save the beastmen. So we need ourselves. Oh, we could. Oh, we could have a catapult to represent a cygor. So, um, cygors are giants, cyclops, cow monsters that um, throw rocks. So that that's what that is. Can we represent a gorgon? I think we would need a custom unit for that. So um, we can do that later, but I don't know how that works, and I don't know how to save this. So um, what what can represent a gorgon for now? You can have wolves, like wild wolves, but they kind of not work for anyone. This can be our gorgon for now. So um, a gorgon is kind of the equivalent to the cygor. Except instead of ranged, it's hitty hitty. Um, that should be about good. Um, a gorgon and a cygor are super expensive in the tabletop. On the tabletop, because um, they're really good. Um, so there's the cygor. Here's the Bretonian Grail Knights. Um, five of them going to lead a rear charge into the blood letters and then the Ungor archers. We've still got um, our Empire Pistoliers taking on the Ungor archers. They are going to be aided by the Empire State Troops. Um, who are in turn aided by the Witch Hunters. Um, I hope some of them are going to go off and try and quiet the Saigor before it just absolutely destroys them. So, let's watch. Ah! Oh, in come the witch hunters. There we go, I heard some hand cannons go off. We've got some Empire State troops coming in. 32 versus 25. How's that? I want to be here when this rear charge hits. Oh, it hit. And the Blood Letter of Corn crushed one of the Bretonians. Um, the Ungor archers have absolutely filled these guys with arrows. Like, 
and killed one. Um, so when this guy comes off, he's going to die instantly. Like anything hits him, he's dead. Um, one of their dead friends appears to have been shot by one of them. Because it's arrows. Oh my god. Beastmen taking the fight to the witch hunters in Beastman style. Seigel still hasn't fired, I don't think. So that's going to be cool when that happens. Let's watch the blood letters try and deal with these Petonians. As they are butchered by him. Oh my god. All of the Petonians slain by this one blood letter. Oh no, the other's coming in to help. So the two blood letters are just, have just murdered the Petonians. Um, the middle fight's kind of going meh for both sides, but all oh, there's three pistolers that have survived this time, coming for the Ungor archers again. There are only 15. There's 15? There's like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe. Not 15. Maybe there's some still alive in this mess. Oh no, there's some others coming into it. But the beastmen just have the upper hand. Here we go, two Empire State. Two desperately trying to defend against two of the... Oh, there goes the festival. Gauls. Oh, yes. The Cygor doing work nicely. We still haven't got any sense goals for the beastmen. That needs to be part of the next battle. The Centigals are literally evil Centigals. Oh, we got an Empire State man going up against this Ungol Archer, supported by the Pistoliers. The Ungol Archer is slain, the Pistoliers are kind of... who knows what. And they're both dead. And so is that Empire State fruit dude person. Where are the other two? Okay, so there's a hand cannon. So there's a pistol here, and one Bretonian knight, who appears to be immune to swords. No demon can kill me, he's going to be dead very soon. Oh my god, he killed one of the blood, he killed two blood letters, and he's dead. So who actually survived? One of the blood letters. Three Gauls. And one other thing. The Saigor. So, um... They overran that position. And they're pushing further. So I guess this can be part of, like, a narrative campaign. That would be cool. Um... At which point I should probably note down what's happening. But, um, yeah, at the moment it's not really, but um, it can quickly become a Warhammer narrative Ancient Warfare 2 campaign. That would be really cool. So, um, what else could the Empire bring to the field? Let me have a look. Oh, no, I know. What are you? I know what you are, but I don't... I also don't... Okay, you're just... You've got the Gatling guns, that's what you are. And the Pistoliers just have straight up pistols, so you're not very helpful to me. I'm sorry, I'm doing research, I'm not very professional. Empire... Troops. What's the thing? It only comes up with state troops. State troops... Oh, we could have, um, Halberdiers. Empire Halberdiers. But that's, like, exactly what we've got the state troops as. We could have an Empire General. Yes, that's what we need, an Empire General. So, an Empire General is now leading the charge. So obviously he's going to be armoured on an armoured horse and he's just going to have sword and shield like um, he's going to be leading the empire state troops 
I guess they could have some dogs of war from Tilia that they've called in to um, help out. I'm going deep into um, lore, aren't I? So, um, yeah, so the Empire is this group of humans. Um, it's an empire, it's based off the Holy Roman Empire. Um, uh, kind of the preface, like just as medieval becomes Pike and Shot era. So, kind of early 1600s kind of time. Let me just look up some Dogs of War. Um, what else? Um, so, the Beastmen are kind of mostly Satyas of. Um, We could have some Araby. Let's have some Araby, and we can have an elephant. Um, and to match that, we can have some centicles. So, um, yeah. Araby elephants are archers. So we're going to put it the opposite side from the Saigor. And we're going to get some centicles who have spears. I'm going to put them over by the side wall. So, um, yeah, Tilia is this realm of lots of mercenaries to the south. Um, so, Warhammer is a lot based on history. So, Petonia, which is the knights, um, is based off medieval France, whereas the Holy Roman Empire was, of course, in Germany. Tilia isn't really based off country as far as I can tell, um, it's just um, a mercenary country um, and from it they, uh, they actually got um, someone from Araby which is based off the Ottoman Turks um, about the same time, probably about 1400s just after they'd taken Constantinople at the height of their power, um, you know, um, so we have a lot of empire now, we have the empire general and we have an Araby elephant. I think that's going to turn it around. Um, and um, we have five centicles with um, demi lances. So that's what they're generally equipped with. And oh my god! Oh, the Empire General slain by the um, whatever you, Gorgon. Whatever you were. Can't wait till this becomes fully moddable. So you can like fully make. Um, Warhammer in this. That will be so cool. Can I just pause so I can fly over. Let's have a look. What What's changed that doesn't normally happen? Oh yeah, the Empire of General was added this round as well, so this round's just um, all round in addition to the Empire General. Um, and it appears to be so. This looks pretty bad. The Centigals have killed themselves pretty quickly. Not really done much. We're going to have to hope the Saigor does something because the Gorgon's dead. How much flesh can a Gorgon gorge on? Gorgon gorges on flesh till it's gone. Yay, I know Empire poems. Fe uh, that's a famous poem from the Empire. Referring to the monster that is that dead thing. The Gorgon. We got a Bestigor. Oh no, that's a blood letter. Killing some Empire State troops. We've got the Bestigals shoving their way through. The elephant appears to have lost its rider. No, it's just stuck in a tree. Oh, we've only got one Bretonian knight left against one final bloodletter. Oh, I heard the catapult go. Okay, so we've still got a blood letter and three other beastmen. So we have ourselves a Ungor, a Bestigor, and he looks very dead. And the Saigor. 
against three Empire handgunners, an Arabian elephant. So that's four. Where's the other two? Oh, they're um, Empire State Troops in this mess. You don't appear to be in it. Oh, yeah, you are. So this is going to be right down to the wire between the Beastmen. And he's still cutting up the horse. He's like, there shall be no memory of these Bretonians. They did lose a blood letter to the Bretonian charge. We're down to three. I'm, I'm assuming that's the Saigor, the blood letter, and the Bestigal. And that the Ungor died. Oh dear. Yeah, he got detached and killed everything. So the Saigor and the blood letter remain. And we got the Pistoliers coming for him, and he missed! Nope, it's all over for him. The, Ar the Arabian Elephant's coming in. He appears to not really... Come on, get one shot off right in his face. Get a shot off! No. Nope. Shot by an arrow and then run over. I think that's a glitch with the hand cannons, because they don't have any archers. But the blood letter... It's still stabbing this horse. He's going for the next one. And the Arabian elephant is just coming for him. Oh my god, a pike just flew over his head. The pistoliers are moving up to like a firing squad. That's really cool. However, they are just going to shoot each other in the backs. And the Arabian elephant's gonna run them over. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. That actually just happened. I guess he just wanted all the money and stuff, and he's just stabbing the horse. You idiot. Yes. No. <laughs> so, the Empire wins. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye. Wrong, wrong, window.